Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Basket here, back again with another delicious video. And today, we're going to be watching a video that I found to be very interesting because, let's be honest, who loves, who, we all love a little bit of language learning up in here. Like, come on now. Everybody around the world has got to at least know how it feels to just want to be different. You know what I'm saying? Whew, that was a lot of, a lot of words for me just now. Anyway, this is a video called I Surprise African Tribe Tribal Warriors by Speaking Their Language by none other than my boy Zhao Ming. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I butchered that so hard. I'm not going to pronounce what the hell that says. But just know I've been watching a lot of his content lately. I've really been enjoying his videos. And um, so far, I'm going to actually, you know, watch it, legitimately watch his video. Videos, because obviously, one thing I should let you guys know is that I have been trying to learn how to speak, like, fluent Spanish. But the thing is about my fluent Spanish is that I can't really, can't I can't really speak much. Like, let's, let me just try to speak something right off the tongue. Even though I can't really speak a lot, because I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to remember how to speak in fluent Spanish, but I can easily, like, read, read in fluent Spanish, which is weird, but, um, so far, the best I can say is, hola, como estas, soy Willy, mucho gusto, you know, which, if you know, you know, but, um, my fact, I might put some subtitles into the video, that would be sexy right now, but, um, but anyway, though, let's get straight into this video, I want to see the reactions that he gives from these people. I really hope that is some really good ones. I recently spent a month secretly learning the rare Maasai language. If you want to watch the full video, link in the description, because obviously with me to be in a reaction channel, I have to take out certain parts so that I don't get in any trouble, you know? Like, come on now, you, you know. And then visited a rural Maasai village in the extremely remote southwest corner of Kenya. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience to surprise these hardcore Maasai warriors by becoming one of the only foreigners ever to speak their language. It was quite expensive to make this video, so thanks so much to Timu for helping out by sponsoring it. And I'll be donating much of the proceeds after costs to AMREF Health Africa, which is headquartered in Kenya and supports the health of rural communities like the Maasai, which are facing a very difficult drought in East Africa. Consider donating if you can. I actually had the Timu app on my phone even before they sponsored this video. It's just a Ooh, really, damn. really fun and addictive shopping app with prices so low that uh honestly I feel like a steal kind of hard to believe with a recent Super Bowl ad they've actually I ain't gonna lie this feels a lot like wish I'm just saying it feels like one of those ads where it feel like wish I'm sorry once I gotta admit it just become the most downloaded app in the United States, it's not hard to see why. Whether we're talking fashion, toys, I find that Timu makes it fun and even addicting to shop for things at prices that mean that you don't really have to worry about just adding that one more cool thing to your cart. I'm still checking uh, it out, they though. They really have just about everything. You know, like I recently got some toys for my son, some of which he loved, and some of which he was absolutely terrified by. And honestly, I've spent so much time just scrolling through the app, looking at all the kind of cool and crazy things that they have available, things that you would never have even known existed. Toothpick crossbow for $2.09. But it's not just novelty stuff either. Like, there's also actually really useful things. A sink strainer for $1.79. Hey, that's a great deal. An SD card reader for $2.48. And in addition to the low prices, there's also free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. And right now, they're running a really cool promotion for viewers of my channel where you guys can win up to three cool gifts that I've personally selected actually. All you have to do is draw from a magic hat to match the gifts and you can win by inviting more friends to the app. So make sure to download the Timo app and enter my game code OFF9377 and happy shopping. Driving a very slow mode. Slow? Slow mode, you don't drop so fast. Okay, great, that's cool. Well, I'm really, really excited. Caillou Nadolin Messi. Um, oh, it's okay, I don't know this language. I know, I know there's a language called, um, was it, was it how you say, Igbo, Igbo, Igbo? 
I'm sorry if I butchered it so hard. I'm gonna put the name of the language that I that I remember. I had a coworker who speaks the language, and so far, if I if I recall, the the best I can remember from that language is, is it, uh, Kedu. Uh, Kedu. I think it was like that. I'm sorry. There's only so many languages you can learn, people. All right. Don't don't judge me. There's only so many languages you can learn. Like seriously, one of the only things I really try to get in depth with right now is Spanish and French. And French, I'm not even that good with. I don't even know how to speak that many words. Like seriously, in in French, all I know how to say is bonjour, Mister Pico. Like, and I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't think I don't think that I spoke that shit right. But Spanish is obviously the easiest because I've been studying it for months. Well, not months, but uh, a bit off and on. You know, you're going to eventually see. I'm going to eventually have them make a YouTube channel, YouTube channel where I go and speak to people in Spanish once I finally learn how to speak fluently in it and actually get used to speaking to people. Because I'm, I'm a little bit introverted. I won't lie. I'm not extremely extroverted like most people are, which is a hinder on actually learn how to speak other languages because what's the whole point of learning how to speak other languages if you if, if you can't even talk to people you know but it is what it is In our tradition, we don't, we don't let people to be in a village, yeah. inside the village. Uh, traditionally, before we welcome the warriors, we do that. The warriors prove their manhood by how high they can jump, and as you can see, I was clearly not up to the task. But one thing I am good at <laughs> languages, and especially as this was kind of a status competition for women, I decided it was finally time to say something in Maasai in front of over a dozen Maasai warriors. <laughs> he did not say that. That was good. That was good. Hey, you doing good? Uh, he, got, he got a phone out like, yo, ain't no way. Oh my god, yo. See, this is why I love this man, dog. He he's very impressive. Like he really did his study. He like he really puts in the work. You know what? I gotta, I gotta really, I gotta put in the work just like him, bro. I gotta put in the work. It's shit like this I enjoy when like you surprise people by speaking a language that that usually someone with your skin complexion or just in general like some person like even though there's a cultural difference, you still value their culture by value their language by speaking it, and it's like. It, it makes the atmosphere so much more friendlier. Because now I feel like, okay, the world is just... Damn, the world is full of surprises now, huh? <laughs> man. Oh, 
man. I ha there's no words I can explain the enjoyment I'm watching right now. There's no words. Just. <laughs> you are Masa. I wonder who this is. Oh wait, I, I missed that detail. Didn't they say that was that was his brother? Hmm. I do not. I do not remember ever seeing his brother. I think this is like a first time thing, huh? I will. 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 I Man, hey, right, that's that's actually look cool. America, America. I feel like that moment right there is where we call him butchering it a little bit because he was trying to speak like very fast. One thing about one thing about when you're trying to speak a certain language and you don't really fluently speak it is that the best thing for you to do is try to sound it out as best you possibly can. Don't try to speak really fast. Like, take your time with each time with your words before speaking them out quickly. You have to take your time to learn how to speak it. Mm. God damn it. This Mountain Dew ain't hitting the same. But yeah, right there was just an example of what happens when you're trying to speak a whole other language as fluently as possible. And you, you start to butcher some of the pronunciations or you just just can't get the words out. But you know what it is, but you can't get them out because obviously they're like so much you have to have to speak in order to have a cool conversation with them. Or cool conversation with just anybody in general that's not your own language, that don't speak your own language. You did it? No. And you ate it? Yeah. Kesha Messi Day? 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 Kesha Messi Oh, five wives, man. W is he? That's the man right there. <laughs> So when the warriors came back, they all wanted to take video with me. There might be no running water or electricity in most homes, but they all have smartphones and they all have TikTok. Really? Thank you. Thank you. 
very wonderful to be here. I really, I, I'm very uh, emotional. It's also good to see, to get one of you who can speak our language. Work. So, lion. I don't have... He looks like a lion. I have. They're all, they're all very impressed by people's uh, giant beauty. Yeah. Okay. A handsome face. You like it? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I have to give you one cow and then I get a the big one. <laughs> okay. Traditionally, we can buy birds. The sheep are coming now. Yeah. Why? Inside the village. We want to put them inside the enclosure. Oh, you. We use a lot of thorns for enclosures uh, to make sure that the, the predators will not go through. Will leopards ever come in and yeah. try to... Sometimes, yeah. See the kind of fence that we use? This is due to cheetah or leopard. Mm. And right now, Wait, can a cheetah and leopard easily jump over that though? The cows are still... They're not, they're still oh, I don't know. So that's why they are not going to. It's probably tall enough where they can't really jump over it instantly. They gotta like be extremely athletic. Oh. Sweet. Oh. What? They drink it as a delicacy. So it starts from the legs? Yeah. No. You can you can't even look at this. It's hard. You're just like. No. I think I'm. Uh, oh wow. Wait so wait it says skinning a goat. Wait. Is they drinking? Was they drinking goat blood? I mean, it wouldn't hurt just to take a little bit of a taste. Oh, England, Manchester. 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 Let's go, Manchester. <laughs> you give me a dog? Dog? One dog? This one. Which, which one? Name police? Police. This one. Right. So far. You give me this one? You're gonna give me your dog? I wanna kill you guys, but this is today. Yeah. No, I have, but it's not that much. Not that often, so I just get burned like that. Why? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Uh, uh. You just pop the whole thing. Pop it in. Yeah, pop, pop it in. It in. No balls. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's really good. I'm a pretty big fan of that, actually. So everyone has. It's very hard. Hey, you never know what you're into until you give it a shot. Mostly for children. Oh, we'll give, you, we'll give you new name. Okay, great. New name. Yeah, we'll give you a new name. Yeah, okay. All right. A new name? Ooh. They getting a really good experience. Do you let a lot of people stay in places like this, or is this like a a rare thing? It's a rare thing. Very rare thing. You live like communal. You live like we have a community such like this village. We have got two hundred and ten people living together here. Does this apply in America? How do you find friends? How do you get friends? Well, you don't. 
in America, you do have 210 people who live in who live in like one building, for mm -hmm. example, like a big apartment building. But you don't even necessarily know the, your neighbor. Right. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know the person who lives next to you. you know? Very so it seems like a lot of the resources are also shared with the community. All resources are being shared. Like everyone shares yeah. everything, really. Yeah. So for breakfast, we had what they like to call Maasai. That is true. You can live in an apartment complex and not know anyone. But, but the thing, the thing here is, is that it all comes down to your environment in America. I feel like that's that will be the case. But yeah, America is a very weird society where the best way for you to actually know someone is by going out and exploring places and just running into people and just talking to them and see how things hit off. But most of the time. If you were living near someone, you would never know who you're living next to unless you actually, like, interact with them once you see them. Which, most of the time, most people don't. I feel like... It's just, it's just like something that I'm just... Just rolling off the tongue from just what I think how things work. IT, but which is, in reality, goat head soup. Yes, they really use every part of the goat. Please, uh, help. You need to make... Goat head soup. Huh? Oh, for a second, I'm about to say, what was that random ass chicken noise? Like, oh, there's actual chicken. <laughs> oh. Cheers. Look here. Good. Look at the front. Breakfast champion. Is he good? Wow. It's so. It tastes. It tastes like sheep. Well, duh. Of course, it tastes like sheep. <laughs> oh, I enjoy this. I enjoy that. Individual members of the tribe will actually go out and spend several months in the wilderness by themselves, surviving off the bush. And so they become intimately familiar with all the plants that are available, including, of course, how to start a fire completely from scratch. Hey, that's a useful skill, though. That's incredible. That's how we can survive. Yeah. So saying goodbye was honestly pretty emotional for me, and this hey, is that's he, hey, they taught you for scale, homie. Thanks to everyone who helped make it possible. Okay, that that was the end of the video. Yo, okay, that's actually pretty cool. The thing that took me by a huge surprise was the fact they had TikTok, like. You can use TikTok, like they had, they had access to the internet, and it's like, wow. Like, obviously, a lot of people are gonna say, Well, how that's surprising to you. And it's like, the reason why that's so surprising is because in certain area, in certain areas, you wouldn't really expect a lot of people to be on social media these days. But I feel like people who are more modernized, modernized are into like stuff like social media. But to see people, see people from like a small, like a smaller, big tribe. I don't know how, I don't know if they're like small or big tribe. I haven't paid that much close attention. But to see, to see people like that using social media is like, it's pretty unique to know that social media has a big impact in such a, in such a huge, way bigger immense, immense than ever before. Like social media is pr pretty much everywhere now.
It feels like it's everywhere now. But, um, hey, I hope y'all learned something about that culture, man, because, hey, let's be honest. There was actually some things, things that you can easily take from this. And that's, and that's if you're actually interested in the culture. Me, I was highly interested in the fact is this dude is the definition of the language goat. Like, just God tier language learning. Because I feel like if I want anyone to teach me how to speak another language, it's this dude. I really, I really feel like this dude can really teach me how to speak another language without, without like, hindering my growth. Because I feel like I will do that on my own by accident. But of course, obviously, with all that being said, though, I'm going to have to end the video here. Because, well, let's be honest. What else, can, what else can we do? I don't want this video to go on for too long. But of course, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that sexy jazz. And I catch you in the next one. Y'all have a blessed day. Deuces.